Hello everyone, uh, peace of Christ to all. This is a short video. Uh, one of those people in YouTube asked question about what I said about Muhammad. He have uh, or his born his his birth was four years after his father death. Uh, you know, if if you have my books, you can see all the reference. I have it there in Arabic and translated. And uh, I will try to make it short because it's very uh, easy to prove. Uh, you know, and the problem is in Muslim books, not. Uh, it's not our accusation it is the stupidity of the Muslims so if the Muslims their books is stupid I mean why Muslims are they why they are calling us liars I mean Muslims are weird they write something and then they get angry from them writing in those things uh, let us show you some reference <clears throat> as you see this is a very Islamic website all right, this is the address. This is a Muslim website, not my website. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Okay, so the biography of Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. All right, so to make it short for you, here we go. Those two Muslim books agreeing that Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, he was the son of the grandfather of Muhammad which means that will make him his uncle according to this story so here we will see that Muhammad father who you Muslims you claim he is his father and his father which means the grandfather of Muhammad uh, they have double marriage in the same day I think the story is very simple to understand both of them the father and his son they get married in one day all right all right that's wonderful so when they get uh, uh, married in the same day and Muhammad in different books it says he stayed with the with the mother of uh, Muhammad a three some they say uh, you know uh, most of Muslim they say it was a three months some they say it was a three days and then he have to go in a trade or a business so the maximum was a three month and supposedly he made her pregnant during that uh, uh, time he slept with her okay no problem but then we will find that in Islamic books Hamza who is the son of the same married person who married with Muhammad father in the same day he is four years older than Muhammad to make it simple let me uh, let me show you some hold on let us see uh, there is a book all right this is a book this is a book in English I'm glad to find it because it's very hard to find those things in English this is the book of uh, Kitabul Maghazi. All right. In this book, we will see what happened. Here is saying that Hamza was older than the Prophet by four years. Do you see it? I, I know the text is not really so good, but I think it's fine. So Hamza was four years older than the Prophet. Okay. So let us calculate the numbers. We have two guys, they married in the same day, in the same night. One of them, he died after a few months. So he have a very short period of time to make the woman his wife a Bretnet, because there is no way he will make a Bretnet after he die. So if a man he died today, the woman she have maximum of nine months after that, to deliver us son, not to get a Britain after nine months she have to be Britain at the time he die, he die so she have a maximum of nine months to deliver a, a child after that there is no way this is the son of the person so if I marry from a uh, from a woman and my father or my brother in the same day and then I die a few months after then how my son will be born four years after the son of my brother or my grandfather or father the person who I married with him 
two women in the same day are you getting it so the story is very simple and if you Muslims you want to accuse your own stupid stories and your books by you know by saying they are liars they are donkeys or all of you are donkeys anyway this is not my business but the story is very easy there is no way Muhammad is born four years after Hamza when both of them their parents they married in the same day it's impossible that can be possible if you know the guy he is married to the women and they live and maybe his wife she was not able to get uh, to get the bread net right away but Muhammad father did not live with her for long so how how she delivered then Muhammad four years after her, her husband's death so the Muslims who say this is a lie this is not true I, I mean you Muslims are really you are really weird you have a problem and your problem is your books and you are trying to get rid of it but it doesn't work it's there and thank God that yes we are Christians but we know Arabic because all those stories was hiding and if not we speak Arabic none of you will know about it even you Muslims did not even notice it was us the Christians who showed you that this is stupid this is how it is it's a stupid and that is exactly what Islam is about and it's very obvious that Muhammad father cannot be this person the Muslim they call him Abdullah for very simple reason too additional reason how Muslims they believe that Abdullah is the father of Muhammad but yet he don't believe in Allah he will go to hell there's tons of, uh, of reasons to believe that this is a false fiction story I believe strongly the real father of Muhammad is Waraka ibn Nawfal. Go and read the history of Muhammad. Go read the book of Asira. Go read all the Muslim books. You will find that any time you look for Muhammad, you find him with Waraka, even when he was a child. Why Waraka is so attached to Muhammad? One day Muhammad he was lost, and everybody he thought that he was kidnapped. They will never find him again, etc. And then they found him with Waraka. When Waraka he died, what Muhammad tried to do? He tried to commit suicide many times, several times. What kind of relationship between Muhammad and Waraka to the point when Waraka died, he tried to commit suicide? And why Waraka's sister, she offered the father of Muhammad, according to the Muslim books, you find this in my books, go and get my books from Amazon, search for Christian Prince, and you will find in Amazon my books. You will find that how the sister of Waraka she offered 100 camels to the father of Muhammad to sleep with her when he was going to sleep with Amina, which means in the way to go to Amina. And for sure, I don't believe in the number. I mean, 100 camels. I mean, <laughs> 100 camels is a lot of money, not only at that time, even now. So, yeah, I'm sure the Muslims exaggerate with the stupidity, the stupid stories they always come with. with. Uh, maybe she offered him a camel or two. You know, I mean, people at that time is not really rich. So 100 camel, and that will make the father of Muhammad king. Just from effing a woman. Excuse my language. This is how it is. So uh, uh, she offered 100 camel to sleep with Muhammad father. And then he said, I will go to Amina. I will do Amina, and I will come back to you. So he went to Amina. He did Amina, and he came back to her. Back to her and she said to him, well, I have no need for you. So what all this drama about? Why, why Waraka sister is doing that? Obviously, Waraka. He is dating this woman or sleeping with her and he don't want anyone to sleep with her So he sent his sister to okay. I will find you a different person to sleep with you want a woman Here we go the sister So as you see Muslims you Muslims agree that Muhammad uh, Father and Hamza father they married in the same day Then both of you agree all of you agree that Muhammad father did not live with his wife for long then you agree then again that Muhammad was born four years after Hamza. You tell me how this happened unless uh, the mother of Muhammad was sleeping around and she was not really married to this man. And I believe all this story is a fiction, the same as everything in Islam. Nobody knows exactly. You see, I believe everything about Islam is a lie. Muhammad 
His name is not Muhammad. His real name is Zakatham. The father is not Abdullah and cannot be Abdullah for many reasons. The history, everything about Muhammad is a fiction. However, this is what Muslims have and this is what they believe in. So you deal with it. Your father was born four years. Your prophet, he was born four years after his father's death. This is why you, you can go right now and search in YouTube about the, the period of getting a uh, birth net in Islam. You will find many scholars, they are talking loud and clear that according to Islam, a woman, she can be birth net up to four years. Now, why where, why they come with this number? Why they come with this number? I don't think it come this, like, like this conclusion of four years uh, for nothing, but they are trying to cover the issue of... Uh, 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 of Muhammad was born four years after that otherwise we never heard of any religion in the world believe that a person he can uh, or a woman uh, she can be pregnant four years after uh, you know the death of the man you know look at this video here Muddatul Hamli Fil Islam this is Al Qaradawi this is the Mufti Al Azhar Sheikh Al Azhar the highest Sheikh in Islam in in, uh, in Egypt he is saying the, the period of getting breadnet or to be breadnet in Islam is four years, which means a woman she can be breadnet even four years after being divorced or sh uh, after being widowed from that man. <laughs> you know, this is why a woman she was from I think uh, uh, I think Sudan something like that. Uh, th they wanted to stone her to death for adultery, and then the lawyer he showed them you, you guys what are you talking about he, her husband he died just like uh, 16 months ago and based on the sharia law a woman she can be pregnant for up to four years so she did not commit adultery so they let her go because she have a she have a a, a time of four years huh? I'm, I'm going to copy those links and post them under the video so people they can see you know this is what it says in arabic and it's not considered to be an adulterer if she brought a baby or she if she delivered a baby by the, by the max of four years after the you know the divorce or for uh, or being widow this is this is what your religion teaching so you explain to us how this happened those are your biggest scholars who live in this earth today and who knows that this is stupid Still, they believe in it because this is what your religion teach, and there's tons of stories in in your books speaking about that. So, Muslims, don't say we lie; we don't. You do. Everything we speak of is from your books. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to download the video and share it with your friends. And we will be back again on air on Sunday, 4:30 p.m. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, the easiest way to find my page, if you are watching a different channel, is to go to this website here, patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Or actually, you can go to minds.com uh, uh, and you will find my page there. And you will find some of the videos, they are not really in YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid made by the stupid for the stupid thank you